this video, I like to define what is signal to noise ratio. So signal to noise ratio, in fact, is also known as SNR. So basically in communication, it's simply a measure that actually compare the power of the desired signal over to the power of noise, as you can see from this equation. Okay, so this is SNR. You can see that it's actually signal over the noise power. So in the ideal world, we want the signal to be as big as possible and we want the noise to be as small as possible. So therefore, a big number divided by a small number, we will have a very, very big SNR. So in the ideal world, we want the SNR to be as big as possible. So therefore, a higher SNR simply actually indicate that it is actually having a better signal power as compared to the noise. This actually led to more reliable communication. So this signal to noise ratio is often expressed in dB as you can see from here. Why? Okay, so when the signal strength is more than the noise power, okay, the signal to noise ratio in dB will be a positive number. So when the signal strength is actually less than the noise power, then this SNR in dB will be a negative number. When this SNR is actually equal to 0 dB, this simply means that the signal power and also the noise power, they are exactly the same. Let's see this diagram here. This is the receiver signal. This is actually the noise floor. From here, you can see that SNR is actually the separation between the receiver signal and the noise floor. So now you can see that this figure actually has a reasonable SNR. As you can see, the separation between the receiver signal and noise floor is quite far apart and you can easily recover back the original receive signal. So now imagine with a low SNR, this receiver signal actually very close to the noise floor. Then now you may have issue to decode the message. So therefore we want the SNR to be as speed as possible.